Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to Nick at Night. Today we are going to be playing RimWorld. It is a colony simula simulator that is quite similar to Dwarf Fortress and Prison Architect. And if, you're, if you've played Banished, it's similar also in that fact, except for you're not controlling the... Uh, you are going to be controlling individual people in this but it has a lot of that similar resource time management built into it this game i have watched people play i thought it was very fun this is the new beta it is 15 c 1284 we are going to be playing and I hope that you guys very much enjoy this. This is quite fun. I've already pre-selected our lovely Rimworldian individuals. We're going to be playing a YouTube series styled on the Hangover the movie. We have I've already pre-selected five individuals and we're calling it the Hangover Five Friends Survival. Five good friends were out on the town celebrating after a friend's wedding and had such a good time that they do not remember anything from the night before. They wake to find themselves inside of a slave ship that has taken them off of their planet. The five friends free themselves from their restraints and find a way to the escape pods where they launch off into space, landing on a nearby planet before the pirates even notice they're gone. Now that they are free and away from home, they only know one thing, that they need to get back home, and they need to either build a ship or signal for help to get home. But before they can do that, they need to survive this rim world. I've already preset it with a few things to help try to make the game a little bit easier on the start. Um, I'm not interested in trying to kill these guys very quickly. We are going to be playing Phoebe Chillax Extreme. The big difference between Cassandra Classic and Phoebe Chillax is that you get a lot more time to recover between raids or major events, which would severely hamper or hurt your colonists. You're going to find that in Phoebe Chillax, which we are going to be playing today, Extreme of course, the difficulty is identical to um, Randy Random or Cassandra Classic on Extreme. The difference is that you're going to get a lot more time in between these events to try to recover from them. Because I've played games where it's Randy Random and it's like back to back to back to back. And sometimes two or three things would happen all at the same time and I'm like, whoa, no! But Cassas Cassandra Classic, I found pretty much will set it up and you have a short little window to recover and then something else happens. Phoebe Chillax will give you a little bit more time to actually recover, get some food, heal your people, maybe build a couple of walls, maybe a new turret and something's coming back for you again. So we're going to be playing on Phoebe Chillax Extreme with our five individuals. Oh, Interstellar. That sounds like fun. We are actually no. We are going to be playing with a seed, a created world called Hangover. We're going to generate that world. It's Pangea, essentially. There's a pirate base here, which is that little red guy on the screen. Might be a little difficult for you to see. But all the same, let's find a spot for our five lovely contestants to try to survive Ooh, that's pretty cold we are going to be playing in mountains most likely I have not decided the temperate zone so that's why I'm looking around right now growing pier never wow I like to be able to choose 
over here you can see what the the ground makeup is made out of granite and slate i like to choose something that has hard materials such as granite and slate because when you go around to come around to the point where you need to build walls and you get stone cutting which is a technology you have to research you're going to really want that and having really tough material that is difficult to break down and holds up really strong against rocket launchers and mortar fire from these raiders is a huge bonus. And I would like to see our hungover crew actually survive to get off this planet. If, we, if I have the option. If not, well, we die in a flame of booze and glory. In this particular... Um, new setup by the way also they have added a new bit of things into the game one of which things is adding of drugs uh, psychoactive chemicals and things that very much resemble marijuana but we are um, just still looking for a nice little spot to plop ourself down in and play this game um, wow it's cold in the winter 13 degrees granted I've seen worse but 11th of spring to first of fall okay it's a mountainous forest you get to four degrees in the winter thousand six hundred and twenty seven millimeters of rainfall which I don't know how much that is honestly let's do this yep and it's not far from the pirate band so we'll most definitely are gonna get attacked it's granite marble and slate though all right oh and advance we're gonna play on a very large map not enormous but quite large um, whoops we are going to load a couple of wonderful contestants that I have preloaded into the game. I got their setup, their designs for their colonists ahead of time. So we don't, I don't have to wait. I will show you guys and introduce you to these colonists that we have chosen as soon as we crash down on the planet. But I will see you quite shortly in the next episode, we will be launching for the ground and we will see this wonderful, amazing planet that we have chosen. All right, tune in for next episode. Bye.